This is what it took to put the deal together for this one bedroom corner unit at Arden here in Mission Bay. Ironically, it's actually harder to sell a unit that has a vacant lot next to it compared to something compared to a unit that's staring directly into another building because you have to be able to paint the picture and explain what is coming and what's going to be in that lot next door. And a lot of buyers just don't quite have the creativity or the vision or the comfortability to make an offer on a property when there is sort of an unknown or if there's a variable. So we had to fully disclose everything that we could find. And again, we don't really know what's going here or when, but from the Mission Bay Master Plan, we dug out that that lot is zoned for a 65 foot tower, which is a six story building. It's zoned for affordable housing, which can deter a lot of people, but when you really think about it, affordable housing in Mission Bay is still 1800 bucks for a one bedroom. So it's still a relatively affluent demographic. And finally, um, it's on Mission Bay's master plan and it's budgeted by the city. So knowing that the Mission Rock project on the other side of Mission Bay, on the other side of one Mission Bay, is scheduled to finish 2023, 2024, knowing San Francisco construction probably mid to late 2024, nothing can go on this lot until, oh sorry, nothing, no construction will start until those funds free up, those the workforce frees up to start working on this project. So being able to explain calmly to buyers that, hey, nothing's probably going to happen at that lot for at least another couple of years. And when it happens, there might be a bit of a setback. Um, it's probably not gonna block the entire view. It might just block the freeway in that background. These are some of the challenges that ironically happen when you're selling something next to a vacant lot. And having a really deep understanding of Mission Bay, the Mission Bay Master Plan, um, the types of properties and the types of buildings that are going to get built here and just being able to explain that everything that's going to be developed in this community is only going to make this community better was one of the challenges that, that we had to put the deal together on this unit but ultimately we just closed just below asking price but really close in Mission Bay you transparently price like you rarely price 10% below and hope to get a bidding war. In the condominium market, that just doesn't really happen. You tend to price transparently, and then one or two buyers usually show up after a handful of days or a handful of weeks. If you can get them jockeying against each other, you'll, you'll run that price up. But in general, transparent pricing always works. When you find that one buyer that you know wants it, negotiating directly, buyer agent, seller agent, and just doing what it takes to put a deal together and get the deal done, um, is ultimately what successfully got this unit sold.